I am liking the whole setup of the Grieving Souls. Nothing really crazy happened last episode other than just, just kind of establishing this whole world of like adventurers and we have clans which is like basically a compilation of different like big parties and we the main character are the clan leader he's like level eight but he hides in obscurity because the friends around him the childhood friends are the actually op people now he doesn't seem like a random useless guy though he has charisma he can talk out his ass but maybe he can't do like crazy 1v1 fights but the utility you saw his like chain stuff the cgi was actually pretty cool like the chain stuff he seems to know what he's doing i thought that he'd be like a complete fraud that is just a weak uh just like a pussy but that's not really what it seems like and he just looks like a guy that just wants to get away from all the different responsibilities that he never signed up for let's begin today's reaction six years ago トレジャーハンターのやっぱりやめないえまだ入ってもないんだよそれに手何度も言ってるだろうみんなだけならともかく僕は鬼持ちになるばかりだいろいろ考えすぎなんだよ俺が開けてやるbro how many sources do you have?なんだよ。one <laughs> sword at the hip. sorry sorry one sword uh, uh, you know on his shoulder. two three four five. bro has five fucking swords. five sword style. And this girl right now is just literally magical girl Sailor Moon. Oi! Five sword style.ここで一番強いソードマンは誰だ？今日のソードマンだ。Wow. talking a lot of fucking shit for being a bunch of new kids in town. They're not even treasure hunters yet. 真の強者は武器を選ばない。うちのリーダー、俺が世界最強。No, that's still a weapon, dumbass. Fight with your fucking hands. ないでほしいんだけど。あの、僕たちみたいにバカな新人っているんですかシンボルの登録をお願いします。ポーティーメ。そういえば全。どちらもあなたたちのパーティーのあり方を示すものになるわ。They eventually become like a big clan. <laughs> What's this party name? Strange grief. And this symbol is what their mask is, right? Their older forms, they all have a mask like this. Love that guy's voice. That's the tank. That's the tank's voice, bro. His voice is already so deep at this age. They're doing that shit where the opening is playing along with the intro scene. Bro, I can't do a fucking opening or ending reaction at this rate. It just plays in with the scene every time. Let me farm my fucking opening video. Yeah, we should literally just go to the official opening video. That's probably hosted by Crunchyroll at this point. That's right, we have no opportunity to react to this shit. The ending is the same. Alright. You're grieving. You're a bunch of strange souls. This is so weird. I've never seen any anime ever do this before. And the weird isn't bad. It's just like, is the opening over? No, they just literally did another little section introducing what the theme of episode 2 is going to be. And then the opening continues, you know? It's pretty unique, for sure. Of course, the shitty fucking anime about the healer, the banished healer anime, is getting more views than Orb. These monkeys on YouTube honestly just don't care about good anime. It's just so sad that Orb on the movements on the earth, like that anime we watched yesterday, the Madhouse anime, that was fucking 
peak. And then the pal the, and then the healer enemy was so trash. And what did I say? I told you guys that the, the trash enemy is gonna get more views because that's what the average audience wants. Look at that armor, holy shit. Oh yeah, Great Greg is how we introduced us, right? This is the three party members. This is a girl that actually didn't back down, was very ballsy. This is the idiot that kept tripping and ruining the bartender's table. And this is the Great Greg. Uh, ティノ、威嚇するのをやめようね。ティノ Tino is so savage. I love Tino so much. Your party did. These two are the biggest glazers. But he's not wrong though. That, that's kind of the sad part, because like he is correct. The intuition is right, right? Like, Krai isn't just this most OP person ever. He got put into that position, and maybe he does have a lot of tricks, but like, he's, he's not wrong. That's actually hard, so hard to do. Because, like, you have to use the fourth finger here, right? Which is always so hard to get up unless... You, it, it's really hard, right? The fourth finger is closely associated with the middle finger. So it, it's like... Damn, that, that's actually so hard to do. What? キュエイリアンティーム。あら、あら。ギルベルト少年はいいや。ストック。グレックス様は手伝ってくれるよね。お、プロの巣に行きたいのならちょうどいいかなって。That's right. マスター、一緒に来てください。Good job, guys. Like last episode, they were pretty much already fighting, kind of, right? And then Krai kind of showed up, and Tino immediately went for Krai and showed us her booty cheeks, and he was kind of saved. うん、うん。何言ってるのかわからないけどすごいね。指輪の時は油断したが、その女を倒したら次はお前だからな。だからなんで僕が戦わなきゃな。読んだから。何先に言っておく。私などマスターに比べはずがない。の、殺さないように手
like the anime just telling us that that like, cry doesn't matter it's the ass that matters here that would have been so funny if this shit was blurred and this is more clarified <laughs> Was that your cute face? Was that your pout, your 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 tantrum? Your your, your just like, I want ice cream with master, please. <laughs> All right. Oh. oh. That was easy. まだまだまだもうあってお、すごい。分かってると思うけど。手加減した。これに懲りたら、マスター、マスターを神と崇め、1日3回、ヘリを捧げること。オッケー。ヘイ、ヘイ。ヘイ、ヘイ。ヘイ
did he use a relic to control that relic? Like, how did he just like use it so much? Is it just a difference in experience? Yeah, he gets hard carried by relics. あの煉獄剣もいいよな。効果も見つけられるかも。Good googly moogly, that thing is juicy。全然違う。ホグは一つ一つに個性があって、似たように見えても癖とか違うよね。ショットリングだけじゃなく、身を守ってくれる素材もあるし。So many ring, like he's had so many ring relics for basically everything you could possibly want. あ、いくらストグリからの莫大な収入があるとはいえ。いい加減自重しないと。What a nice system. It doesn't matter how much work you put in, it's always equally distributed. And Krai always just it's a literal pension fund for doing fucking nothing, bro. Just like the government check soul just comes in. Relics needs charging as well. Relics kind of operate with like a battery? They maintain his relics. The wolf then. The wolf guy, right? So you can just come out of the dungeon, huh? Tino, what about their party? Are they fucked? Is Kai gonna have to go there now? Nah, I think that he needs to go. Like, so far, I enjoyed how he doesn't, like, step in just to carry, right? He does everything he can to, like, delay the responsibility, to defer it, to give it to someone else. It's like, nah, I don't want to do this shit. You guys can go. Tino can help you. But now if the phantom shit is happening, like, okay, now there's like an actual reason for him to step in. Cope, 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 cope. That's fucked up. Hyped up everyone here. Except Ruta. But Ruta did say that she got clapped by that wolf then in the first episode. Let's go Greg, Greg. What? Changing the level? Oh! Like, what was it? Like, level 3 or something? So they can literally change it depending on how much it progresses. We're cooked. We only have a bunch of level 4s mixed in with some other levels. If a level 5 part is gonna get cooked. Krai needs to step in. Yeah. <laughs> this is funny. I love how like the party members have like more design here and then the last two are just random fucking doesn't matter. Like like this guy in the middle too, maybe the, I don't know. Like you can see there's like a lot of design for this guy. Like kind of looks like Sephiroth or something, right? And like the Shota in the hood, maybe it's the girl. And then these two at the end, just NPCs. Didn't we see these dudes last episode, actually? Maybe I'm crazy. <笑>どうした、マスター。白狼の巣にちょうど昨日向かわせたところで。レベル5が行く。相変わらずスパルタだな、マスターは。あ、これも勉強だよ、大丈夫。ただでさえこんな何人もに。なるべく<笑><笑
You guys might die. Write the will. Very random. Everything is the result of the master's plan. No, there is no plan. Everything is the result of the master's plan. No, there is no plan. Everything is the result of the master's plan. No, there is no plan. Everything is the result of the master's plan. No, there is no plan. Everything is the result of the master's plan. No, there is no plan. Everything is the result of the master's plan. No, there is no plan. Everything is the result of the master's plan. No, there is no plan. Everything is the result of the master's plan. No, there is no plan. Everything is the result of the master's plan. No, there is no plan. Everything is the result of the master's plan. No, there is no plan. Everything is the result of the master's plan. No, there is no plan. Everything is the result of the master's plan. No, there is no plan. Everything is the result of the master's plan. No, there is no plan. Everything is the result of the master's plan. No, there is no plan. Everything is the result of the master's plan. No, there is no plan. Everything is the result of the master's The people on our side are the fucking quote unquote stupid dummies that are just like misreading the entire situation. And like these dudes, Great Greg, Ruda, Gilbert, they're like randoms, but they're like, yo, this is fucked. Yo, wait, I don't think this is right. And Tino's always like, nope, everything is still according to plan. No, Greg, don't believe in it. That's the dumbest shit. He would. Yeah, and the best part, even if he says this shit out loud, if he literally said this shit to Tino, you know what Tino would say? Oh, you don't mean that. You're just testing us. Nah, the great cry would never do such a thing. There's a deeper meaning, and then they would do their own mental gymnastics and delude themselves into thinking why he's actually lying, and it's all part of some sort of training. Oh. Wolves. Is that a phantom? It's a phantom. Okay. What the fuck? Yo, these are not regular wolves. They are geared up. They have armors and weapons. What the fuck? Can't talk. Is it intelligent? The crazy stuff. You show. Oh, this is his like secret. Yeah. The secret vault. What's in there? Nothing. Eva. But. It's crazy. This dude literally just sent random adventurers to their fucking death due to his own ignorance. And, 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 and now he's going to clean up after his mess and Ava's like, oh, you're such a kind person. You truly do care about them. Oh my gosh, Sasuga Kraisama. And on the other side, Tino inside, they're like, yo, I feel like our party is fucking random makeshift. This is not good. And they're still gonna fucking delude themselves into thinking this is all part of the plan. Slime? What is it? Chitri slime. Maybe some OP slime like Piggy Maru in Failure Frame. What is it? Vi the slime violates imperial law? Whatever is in this necklace, whatever slime is contained in it, Imperial law banned it because it's that OP of a relic. Okay. So he only has defensive relics. All the offensive relics are out of mana conveniently. So his defense or like strategic like support utility shit. Eva, you should come with us. Oh. oh, look at that weapon. Sorry, the mask. Duke it. Discount Sid Kagano. No, I mean, that's not a correct comparison. But, like, you know how Shadow always has, like, a hood and a cape and he lifts off and he flies like this shit, too, bro? Human missile <laughs> So someone, the human missile relic just basically gives you flight. And someone tried to do this before, but they just died by just crashing into like a roof. <laughs> so, okay. He also did leave behind the backpack. Okay. 
Night Hiker 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 Night Hiker Night Hiker This is the relic and the human missile is the incident that happened with the accident with Night Hiker Relic. Dude, the bag though, like straight out, he just conveniently left the fucking bag of relics that he was getting. So he only has the slime. So all the relics that he wanted to bring with is not going to be used. It doesn't exist. He has the Night Hiker, which is going to, you know, fly there. And then after that, he only has one relic, the slime, which is like banned by Imperial Decree. So this is going to be fun. <laughs> Yes, sir. That's it, man. That's another episode of Grieving Souls. And today was pretty much another setup episode, right? The Tino versus Gilbert fight was funny. It was more horny than funny, if anything. And then Krai just like flexing accidentally. You know, he has knowledge of relics and he's able to bring it about. But it doesn't really mean he's all powerful. There's this dude, like, we learned about like how relics really work there's like different types of relics there's like offensive relics and different types relics also needs to be charged because gilbert after you know the purgatorial sword was released with powers like this it wasn't really charged so that's why they're also fucked up we learned about the existences of like phantoms i would have to go back to the mana matter but i think at a high like oh jesus christ i think at like a uh like a high level of understanding I, I, it, basically there's like this different dungeons and the wolves were all farmed out because there was no ban on the wolf fur trading i don't know they were just basically just everyone was just farming hard to get money but now the wolf spirits are somehow back as phantoms and there's a bunch of phantoms around they seem like way stronger than the regular monster cry is going there because he realizes that he fucked up he sent a bunch of random level fours and, and a mismatch of parties to like you know a threat that a level five couldn't even handle and he's going with night hiker 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 with the slime i want to see what the slime does and i'm sure next episode is going to be the pop-off moment that we've been waiting for that's it for me if you're still here if you enjoyed this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for even more content i don't call next time take care